Hey guys, and welcome back to this video. On uh, in this video, we're going to be showing you how to make a cargo plane robbery system. This is part two of the mini series, not really a series. As you saw in the video, um, at the like at the front, you'll notice that this is a glitchy tutorial. Because um, what happens is if you go in a cargo plane, you may get flung out or something, and it's just going to be really glitchy, and it's just not going to work out. It may not work out for you, but don't don't be scared or something. Just try your best, and if you need any help, I'd love to help in my community Discord server. So, um, for the rendezvous, we should start off by saying that a lot of people that watch my videos have not been subscribed to me yet. So, if you did not do that yet, make sure to do that right now, because you will make me really happy. And if you make me really happy, then I am happy. Sounds cool, right? So, we can start off by making a little crate. We're going to only be using uh, click detectors because proximity prompts need a certain range. But in this tutorial, if you get flung out, you're not in a range anymore. So, that's going to be very glitchy. What we're going to be doing is we're going to make a part. I'm just going to name it crate. And I'm just going to make it 2x2x2. Two by two by two. That, that's probably very, very small. Am I right? Ah, that's kind of small. Do it a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. Yeah, should be good. So we're going to add in a click detector. And then a script. We're going to be saying script. A parent. Well, the click detector. Not can collide, but click detector. Not mouse click. Click an act. Function. I mean, maybe we can do a click, I guess. So what we need to do is if you press... Um, if you press the click, we're going to be making sure you'll get a value enabled. So if you touch another part, which is like the criminal base, you'll receive your money. What we're going to be doing is if click, if click the parent call a find first child humanoid, then local PLR is equals to game the players, call and get player from character, click the parent. And I'm not sure if this works actually, but it doesn't matter. Then we're going to be doing is um at the top of the script i'm gonna type local debounce is equal to true make sure to always put it at the top or else the script will not register it correctly and you'll be completely dead if debounce is equal to true then we can do debounce equals to false so you cannot spam click it L plr dot has create for the value is equal to true wait one uh, debounce equals to true, but actually we just want to destroy it already, so we can do 0 0.1 and immediately script the parent colon destroy. So we're destroying it. Why not? So now we're gonna go into. Do we, yes, we do have a leader stat. We're gonna go to your leader stat script. Local has create equals to instance that new bool value, and bool value is like enabled or disabled. Like true or false, which is pretty handy. I'm gonna put that in the player, not leader stats, because you will be pretty much glitched out. Has create dot uh, um, has create dot let's do name is equals to has create has create dot value is equals to false. We're gonna start off by doing a false. Yeah. So now that you've done that, we're gonna be well. We could test it out, but. Gonna make another part, and this will just be our, I don't know, criminal base door or something. So, we're gonna be doing everything anchored. Anchored? I'm gonna do for criminal base, can collect false. I'm gonna add in a script over here. Uh, local debounce. Is equal to true? If, uh, no, no, no. Sorry. Script the parent, the touched. Call connect function uh, hit if hits a parent call a find first child humanoid so if there's a humanoid in the player we're just gonna do uh, if oh wait 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 local player is equals to uh, game the players call and get player from character hits a parent gonna be doing if player dot has crates that value is equal to true so if you do have a crate which is going to be if 
has created value. If you do have a create, you could do uh, is equals to true and debounce is equals equals to true. Then debounce equals to false. Player dot has create dot value is equals to false and player dot leader stats money dot value is equals to player dot leader stats money dot value plus and jailbreak gives you four thousand so we're gonna do that too four thousand dollars and then weights um one and we can do debounce because it's true so you will not spam it so let's test that out real quick before we continue because if things break we need to know it before we mess up wow Hey, why, what is that on my screen? Okay, anyways. So if we get the crate, I believe. Nope, we got an error. Why does F9 not work? I think my Roblox is glitched. F9 doesn't work. Uh, log server. Maybe it is enabled. We're gonna find out. Okay, no, it's not enabled. Uh, that means the clicking does not work. Uh, it's gonna be probably be a little problem if click. Let's just try that. I think it just doesn't find the player. Why? Okay. Hmm. That's weird. After a little experimenting on a dev forum, because I'm quite stupid, I found out that you don't even need to define a player. You already have it once you click it. So, what we're gonna be doing is copy this. We're gonna replace that with this. Actually, we're gonna replace that with all this. We're just gonna put PLR in here. And this sh should already work because I just tested that if you click on a sector and you already put a PLR name, uh, it's technically gonna log already. Yep, see, now it does work. I knew it. If we walk in here, as you can see, we have 4,000. And if we walk in it again, you'll notice that we cannot get it again. Because, because yes, because we're cool. No. Anyways, so we're gonna put this in the cargo plane. I just want to position them. I'm gonna put my, this off. Well, actually, I'll keep it. And we're, you don't want to position that mirror plane. It's probably going to be in the ground, but I don't really mind. Oh, bloody. Uh, can we get that back? Yes. Okay, there. So now that we've done that, um, I believe we're going to make another part. It's going to be the um, open door part. And if I can get the part, what I'm gonna be doing is if you click that part, you will open the door like in jailbreak, but without a key card. Because if I make a key card, I'll be 10 minutes more in the video. I'm just gonna be positioning this a bit, like, yeah. Anchored, can collide false, transparency one, add a click detector in the script. Don't do anything with it yet. First of all, gonna go and get that part again. We're going to put them both first in the plane. That's the most important thing. And now we want to get the like, like the door part kind of. So I believe we can get the... Yep, we can. So you want to delete these. And you just want to call this the, 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 like, the... Like the door handler part. You want to position it like the door of the jailbreak plane. Which is like... I believe it's kind of like this. A bit of offset. I don't really mind... But this time, we want to enable King Okay? We're going to put this in a cargo plane. And we're going to find our open... Yep, over here. Script.parent.clickdetector. Uh, mouse click, colon connect, function. And all we're going to do is script.parent. Uh, well, actually, people are going to spam it, of course. Local debounce equals to true. If debounce... Equals equals to true, then uh, debounce equals to false, debounce equals to true. And over here, we're gonna be waiting five seconds at least. Well, actually, I'm gonna make it a two, because 
or route is not that long, actually. What we're doing is, uh, over here, we're going to open the door, so we can do script apparent, the door, hey, a uh, script apparent apparent dot door, ah, script apparent apparent dot door handle part dot can't collide, six to false, script apparent apparent dot door handle part dot transparency equals to 0 0.5, I'm copying this, I'm going to be doing way two, two seconds to get out, and then true, and zero. So that's basically kind of like it. So we're going to be doing uh, over here in this one. Uh, before it's going to move, let me see, because over here, uh, went to do plane, oh, plane dot, um, this is like, uh, door handle part so can't collide is equal to true and plane dot plane dot door handle part dot transparency is zero. Uh, I think this is basically kind of it. Plane dot door handle part because we're gonna set it to true. And uh, wait, actually, before you go, you're gonna make it false so people can get in. That's a, quite an error. And then once it's gonna move, uh, we're gonna, of course, put it enabled. True. So, I think that's kinda like it. We're not done yet, but, yeah. Alrighty. So, I've been testing for a few seconds, and what I figured out is that at the bottom lines, for, for like, extra... Things what to type game that workspace, the game system, the cargo plane, the door handle part, the can collide is equal to true. Just wanted to find it actually in the game because um, just doing this, just doing this will not exactly work. So, what you want to do instead is that um, what I'm gonna be doing is I think I should do it over here too, but I'm not quite sure. Why not? We're just gonna do it. Mm. So over here, yep, you just want to copy paste, and over here, you want to do false and 0.5. Over here at the open, uh, a correction, at the door handle part, you want to put it at 0.5. Yep, uh, yeah, just like this. Now you can see the actual part, which is, I believe, quite nice. What I'm just going to be doing is I'm going to edit a bit, so it goes like this. Actually, no, because I'll be messing the scripts up, probably. We need one more script, and then I think we should be quite done. As I said, this is a very glitchy tutorial. If it doesn't work out, I'm very sorry. Because this is a dev forum script, I will be pasting only this script in the description for you guys. To copy, paste, on paste bin, or a storage bin, whatever is in the description, not a virus. Anyways, um, it should be working. If we do that, so let me get the script from the dev forum. Yes, I have two monitors. Um, if I control A, control C, then never mind. If I just copy this, we go to start your character. We're gonna go to local script. We're gonna paste that in. This is by by who? Forever HD, my old man. Probably a good guy. So, uh, let me just see. It's kind of, uh, I, I don't, I bet they don't work. If I go in there, yep, and the plane is fly. Okay, yep, I was afraid that it does not work. And this is what could happen to you. Oh, well, if I had a run script, uh, how fast does the plane go? 50! Oh, bloody. Runs, run, run script. I, I recommend get a run script, anyways. Um. Okay, this is actually free model scripts, but I don't really mind. Walk speed uh, 50. Alrighty, so home, play here. Let's rock and roll. And if we go over here, yeah, we're going really fast. So if the plane moves, I might want to try and get a... I don't know what. Oh, as you can see, we do turn with the plane. That is something very good. Okay, this is not very good. Why can I not get it? Oh, there. We got it. And I fell off the map. 
Um, I'm gonna test one more thing on the plane. And that is, of course, the open door button. Because we need to test that out too. We get a real crate, real f Yes, okay, we got a crate. If we now press this. No, 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 play, 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 no, 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 plane. Plane, I beg you. Plane, this is the only time I'm begging you. Yeah, this is why it's very glitchy. I'm very wondering how bad CC did it. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it. Yes. Okay, open. Open the door. No. How about we just do a quick extra raid with this, like 10 seconds. So we get three extra seconds. Which will actually help us out. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. If we... Wait, hey, where is it? Hey, 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 what? Do we not? Door. It's right over here. Zero. Just gonna make it visible for now. Can we spawn in the plane? Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Okay. Oh, where's the cl Oh, you're like, it was the ah. See, it does work. It actually does work, but it's just kind of... This is a very glitchy tutorial. It, sh it may work. Uh, if you're wondering how to get that death forum, I recommend just typing, um, like, how did jailbreak? Let me see. Yeah, just search making your character move rel uh, relative to a part it's standing on uh, using uh, C-Frame and Twin Service. So, I think, I hope this tutorial kind of helps you out making the basics of a cargo plane. I know it's a very good tutorial. It's not something I can really do about because this is all Roblox physics. If you did enjoy this video, do not forget to like and subscribe to this video. And, um, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out and goodbye. <laughs>